welcome to Mexico, you guys. It is officially our first day here. You guys saw our travel day, which was yesterday. I tried to capture a little bit of that, but it is officially our first day. And this time, you guys, I'm making sure that this camera works. So I just got out of the shower. I'm getting ready. Let me show you guys. This is two days outfit. So we have this little tank from Airy and then my skirt from Hollister. And I'm going to wear my um, sandals. This is the outfit. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with my hair because I did not bring my Dyson or my thermo brush, which big mistake. Probably, I mean, it doesn't look back down. I just pulled it up because like, I was in the shower and I'm doing my makeup. I've been using the Hourglass Skin Tint and I love this thing. It is so nice. It just leaves your skin so glowy. It just looks so natural and pretty. to get water because i just realized i haven't been using any water i'm like and i started feeling a slight headache and it's very warm so i'm like okay i need to drink water so we went to the tiendita and i saw the bread that dennis loves to get when he comes out here and he's not on this trip because he actually went to el salvador to see his dad because they had to do a lot of like business stuff with like Dennis's dad's properties and talk to attorneys. He went to go do that and he was, it was his idea. He's like, why don't you guys go visit your dad while I'm in El Salvador? And I'm like, okay. And the reason why I didn't go to El Salvador because I know some people were asking me that saw him on the plane is because he was gonna be so busy and I just thought it would be a nice trip for him to spend with his dad and he'd be around. They were gonna be going to all the different properties. And so it's gonna be more of like a work trip um, and I know him, like if I would have been there, he would have been trying to like, babe, like, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? So I don't want to stress him out being there. So he's with his dad and I'm with my dad and I miss him. So I need to drink more water. My dad told me that my gancito from last time is still here. So it's still good. Still good? I think so. Straight out of the fridge. One of the things we like to do, or that we love to eat, I is tortas. Mm -hmm. And you guys saw me went to go get them. We didn't have any bolillo. So they ended up making like sandwiches, which were still very yummy. And since it's a tiendita, I told my dad, I'm like, where are we going to eat it? And then I thought, what about if we go have like a little picnic? So we went to a park that's close. Put a blanket out. You guys saw it. It was so cute. And then... Isabella and I also got on the swings. We got on the seesaw. It was fun. It was a cute little moment. I don't like eating a lot of it, so it's like perfect because it's literally like this big. I'm gonna try to drink this whole thing of water today. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is our last full day here. We're literally here for like 2.5 seconds, but cute little mugs. I think my grandma gave these to my dad. Um, look at this one. It's like a little boy with a dog. So cute. And then I love these. They're so cute. They're already chipped, but there's something cute and special about them, especially because my grandma gave them to my dad. But we're going to make some cafecito. We woke up. I was reading my book. I don't know if I told you guys, but I started reading Hotel Nantucket by... 
Oh my god, I forgot the name of the writer, but I'll, I'll put a picture of the book here so you guys can see what book it is. It's so good, you guys. So I was telling you guys on Instagram that I was going through like a reading slump. Like I could not get into any books. Like I, I don't know, did I already have this conversation with you guys? I don't know, but I just couldn't get into it. I felt like I was over the cheesy rom-coms. Um, I would start so many books. Like I started for just the summer, couldn't get into it. And then there was another one that my sister recommended, the one that they turned into a movie with Anne Hathaway. Started that one, like a chapter or two in, couldn't get into it. Like I just, nothing would call me to pick up the book again. I just, there was nothing exciting about it. So I decided to download Hotel Nantucket on my Kindle because I wanted a book to read um, for this trip. And it's so good. I think I already told you guys about this. I feel like I'm having the same conversation. I don't know, but anyway, we're having cafecito. Read my book this morning for a little bit, and now we're gonna have some coffee and then go have some breakfast. This is just to kind of, I don't know, I was kind of craving a coffee. Do you want, are you gonna want sugar? I showed you guys these PJs when I went to Cabo. I had them in orange, and I also bought them in this like pretty rust, because I thought they would be a pretty color for fall. Cheers. We can't get our coffee right. <laughs> it's like too strong. No, I don't know, we, it wasn't enough coffee and then we added too much coffee. But anyway, we're gonna enjoy this for a bit and then get ready and start our day. We found this new little spot called um, Verde Aceituna, and it's supposed to be like a healthy cafe. We got some sandwiches. They were actually really good, but we waited a little too long to eat them, so they ended up getting soggy. But other than that, it was great with my Doritos with some tapatio and some jalapenos. It was really yummy. But now we're back home, and I'm actually going to make some food. We went yesterday to the store to, to pick everything up. So I'm going to make some picadillo de pollo and like make some tostadas later, leave some food here for my dad we're probably not gonna eat it all. That's what we're gonna do. I got some chicken delivered. The best thing about Mexico is that they literally deliver everything to your house. I mean, obviously we have like Uber Eats and Instacart and things like that, but it's not the same. I don't know, it's, not a, it's, it's, a different, it's a different vibe. But we got the chicken here, so I'm about to put this and start cooking it in an olla. And since it's picadillo, cut up some tomatoes, onions, and should be pretty easy. I need more potato. Oh, there's some with that we'll go get some there. Okay, we have some papas. These potatoes are very sad looking. And then I have some tomatoes. We got an onion. We got garlic. I got some lettuce. And then comino, because you need comino for but normally I get it in powder. They, this is like whole comino, but I'm gonna try to like crush it with something to kind of make it a little bit finer. Chop everything up and make this. Oh, and then I also have some other veggies. Jalapenos, that's what I have. I have canned jalapenos that I'm gonna add to food. Oh my God, is this recording? Yes, it is. Okay. We decided to come out to the plaza just to walk around. Uh, we had two bags, you guys, of Doritos Preparados with Pepino, the first one. The second one, oh, right here, they had bracelets before. I don't know if they still do. The second one, we had it with pepinos, tipo aguachiles. So I had cilantro, pepino, chile serrano, and salchicha. It was actually good, no? I normally don't like the salchicha one, but I'm like, let me try it, and it was actually really good. And then she got <laughs> duros, what are those called? Like duros, churros, I don't know. 
with limon and chile and now we're walking back home and earlier when we came out i don't know if i showed but i bought some gorditas de maíz so we got postre we've been doing nothing but eating and it's been very yummy it's dinner time so we decided to come to my uncle's restaurant we're gonna have some tacos you guys saw we had tostadas i ended up making the piquetio it came out so good you guys i actually I was so excited to be cooking in my dad's kitchen. It's my first time I've ever cooked when I come on vacation because normally we're always eating out. But it was nice and I enjoyed it. Um, I wish Dennis was here. He actually called me. He's like, wow, you're cooking? He's like so excited. But anyway, we came to my deal's restaurant. We're going to have some tacos. I ordered, how many did I order? Three or four? Three. Three. Vayan a empezar con tres. And then I got a rochata. So, se me antojo la rochata. Normally I get rosa, but I got a rochata. few hours here in Capilla. I woke up and I was tracking Dennis's flight and the moment that I looked he was flying over Guadalajara. It literally said two hours and 50 minutes which is the exact time it takes from the flight from Guadalajara to LA. I was like oh my god so close yet so far but god willing I will see him in a few hours. Oh he's gonna ask? Oh but dad dad que agarre una más grandecita dijo a mi que agarre una más grandecita we are both gonna get home today. I land at, I think, 6... What time do I land? 6.30, I think. My sister's actually picking us up, and I'm gonna run some errands because I do want to go get a new laptop, and I also want to get some headphones. I don't know if I told you guys, but I actually have no headphones. I think I have... Well, actually, I do. I have a pair of Beats that I bought a long time ago, and they're just too tight on my head and uncomfortable. So I want to get some new ones and I'm debating between the Apple and the Sony because Yasmin told me the Sony ones are really, really good. But then I also got a bunch of DMs of people saying that the Apple ones are really good. So I don't know which ones to get. So I told, I asked my sister if she could pick us up from the airport. So we're going to run those errands and then I'll have, I'll ask Dennis to pick me up or I'll just Uber home. I'm sure he'll pick me up though. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. And right now we're picking up some like last minute little things that my sister wanted some cajeta. And then we're gonna go have breakfast. And then there's a place here called Frache. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they make you, like you can tell them whatever perfume you want. I mean, not whichever one, but if they carry it. So I could say like, oh, I want the um, Baccarat Rouge and they'll have it. And it smells almost identical, but obviously a lot, a lot, a lot cheaper. Um, I don't buy any because I have so many perfumes, but my, um, my niece is gonna pick some up. So we're gonna go do that and then that's it. And then it's time to go home. They're picking us up at one to head to the airport and then we'll be going home. Um, yeah, it's a good trip. See you guys in LA. 